In this problem, we have to construct a confidence interval estimate for the population mean mu. So as we read the question, we have to figure out whether or not we use z or t. So recall, if they give us the population standard deviation in the problem, we're going to use z. And if they don't give us the population standard deviation, we're going to use t. So let's read everything carefully and see what they give us. So it says a data set includes 103 body temperatures. That's going to be the sample size. That's n. So n is 103. Of healthy adult humans having a mean of 98.9 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the sample mean, right? That comes from the sample. That's x bar. So x bar is 98.9 and a standard deviation of 0.65. That's going to be the sample standard deviation. And the reason it's the sample standard deviation is because it never says population in this sentence. Right? It's talking about this data set of 103 body temperatures, and then it goes on to say standard deviation. So it never tells us specifically that it's the population standard deviation. So this must be the sample standard deviation. Okay, So this is the sample standard deviation. In any case, they're not giving us the population standard deviation in this problem, so we're going to use t statistics to do the question. Now here they give you a table and some other stuff. You can just ignore all of this. We're going to use StatCrunch to do this question. So you go to where it says question help, and you click on StatCrunch. Okay, it's loading. I'm going to click this to make it bigger. There we go. So then we're using t because they're not giving us the population standard deviation. So we go to stat, t stats. It's one sample because we only have one n. Later on, we'll have two samples and we'll pick two samples. So one sample, and it's with summary. The only time we use with data is if they give us a bunch of numbers. So it's with summary. All right, good stuff. Now we just type everything in. So the sample mean is 98.9. The sample standard deviation is 0 0.65. And the sample size is 103. This is not a hypothesis test. It's a confidence interval, so we'll click that. Ooh, I forgot to read about the confidence level. Looks like it's, uh, it doesn't, there it is right there, 99. I somehow missed that. I guess I stopped reading the question uh, once I found out um, all the numbers, right? So it wants a 99% confidence interval estimate of the mean body temperature of all healthy humans. Okay, so change this to 99. Good stuff. Click Compute and it disappeared. There it is over there. All righty. Good stuff. So it's the lower limit and the upper limit, and it wants three decimals. So I'm going to write it down. So let's see, parentheses, 98.732, right? Because the 8 makes the 1 a 2 because you round up. And then 99.068. You have to be really careful with the rounding, right? It'll mark the whole thing wrong if you if you round incorrectly. So it's always the lower and the upper. And if you were writing this on paper, you would put parentheses and a comma to separate the numbers always. Uh, in math lab, they want you to enter it in the boxes. So in the left box, you put the left number. So 98.732. And in the right box, we have the right number. So 99.068. All right, let's try it. Check answer. Good job. All right. It says, what does this suggest about the use of 98.6 as the mean body temperature? So when you're doing these follow-up questions, always ignore the choices and try to think about it. Well, if we're going to use 98.6 as the mean body temperature, well, 98.6 is not even in this range. Um, so let's just go with that. 98.6 is not in this range. Um, so this suggests that the mean body temperature could be higher. Yeah, all of these numbers are bigger than 98.6. So I think the best choice is going to be this one, choice number C. That's it. Now, if you wanted to interpret this question, like to do a written interpretation, here's, here's how you could do it. So you would start by mentioning the confidence level. So in this problem, it's 99%. So you would start by saying with 99% confidence. OK, so you start by mentioning the confidence level. And then you have to describe what what you're talking about. So we're talking about the population mean mu. But what population mean? So usually if you go to the question, you can find it.
Construct a 99% confidence interval estimate of the mean body temperature of all healthy humans. So we're talking about the mean body temperature of all healthy humans. So you would say the mean body temperature, I'll just put temp, of all healthy humans, all healthy humans, and then you always say is between, so is between, and then you go to your answer, so 98.732 and 99.068. So we're saying with 99% confidence, the mean body temperature of all healthy humans in the entire world is between these two numbers. So what does that mean? That means if we do this 100 times, 99 of the times we're going to be correct. We're, we're correct in saying that the mean, the population mean temperature of healthy humans is between these numbers. So I hope that made sense, and that's it.